Hey beautiful people, it's Ricky and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about how you can get a 100 point increase before you start fixing your credit. You don't have to use any letters and you must do this, okay? Don't think, oh no, 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 I'm just gonna start working to remove them accounts from my credit reports. That's all fine and dandy, but this is what you really, really need to do. And I realized that when I got this comment on my YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and read that first. So somebody said, okay, I got a crest, I got a question. I got no credit history, but I got one thing on my credit that's bad. I got a closed child support case that I still pay. I'm paying arrears. I'm on time with payments. I have my driver's license. My question is, can I still work on my credit while that is on there? I'm thinking about self-credit builder and Capital One Secure card. Do you think it's worth a try? So people don't understand that. To me, while or right before, because, you know, you can start sending out letters on your credit for your credit. But when you send out those letters that same day, you really need to do this. And that is apply for credit cards. You have negative things on your credit and that's all you have technically because that's negative. And it's only one thing for you. But some people have negative things on their credit and they never start building their credit. They never have anybody say that they're doing good. So it's kind of like if you think about it as grades, you got only F right now, F's on your credit. So you got a 0.0. Your credit is bad. These negative accounts, I don't care what they um are on your credit, they charge us collections, and they're all apps, right? So what you need to do is you need to add some A's, you need to add some positive accounts. And as long as the accounts don't have late payments and they're reporting every month that you're paying on time, you're good. Now you're gonna start going down to having B's and C's and D's depending on how much you spend on your credit card. So please keep the balance low. But I think that everybody, if you don't have at least four credit cards on your credit report, I'm not saying you gotta use these credit cards every month. You're not going to get the ideal score that you want because you have nobody reporting on your behalf saying that you're paying on time. So in your case, I have removed child support before. I would say if you want to put your child support on this free letter um, and try to see if they can get removed and see exactly how your child support is reporting, because I would try to use like the charge off letter or the collection letters um, to remove them, because that's what I did. I just use as a, a collection or a charge off and then I use a, sent the letters in to work to get them removed the child support. So you definitely can work to remove your child support. Keep paying on it though. Even if it's off your credit, that's just off your credit. That don't mean you don't owe it. Okay. But when people start fixing their credit, they forget about building. I don't care if you have negative accounts. Um, you definitely have to take care of those accounts, but you really need to start building your credit. So I like this list right here on my website, Rakita.com the best credit cards for a bad credit. So let's go ahead and click right there and look at these credit cards. Because you did say two um, credit cards I like. I do like to sell and I do like Capital One. But there's an order I like to go in when I tell you guys to apply for these different accounts. And let's go on that order. We're gonna go on a best case scenario for you guys to hit your four. And then after that, we'll double back, okay? So best case scenario, I want you guys to scroll down. I want you to try to get the Discover is Secure credit card. All of these cards are going to tell you you can pre-qualify for them without a hard inquiry. So that means they're going to tell you yes or no before they give you that hard inquiry. So you can try the Discover is Secure credit card. You can also try the In Reward, which is the Navy Federal Secure credit card. And then last but not least, that one that you talked about, the Capital One Platinum Secure Credit Card. I thought that I think that you're on the right track with thinking about getting that. I think that you should also get that too. So try to get those three. And the reasons why I say try to get these one first when you're in a building stage and you don't have at least four credit cards. And these are for the people that can't get credit cards. Um, I say get these right here because... For you can pre-qualify for without a hard inquiry. They're secure credit cards, so they're easier to get. They're not necessarily you're going to get guaranteed approval, but they're easier for you to get. So I like that. And they all graduate, which means in like six, six to nine months, they're going to give you your money back because you got to put a deposit down on them. They're going to give you your money back and increase your limit. So in about six months, that's what Capital One is going to do. 
And they usually probably go from the $200 limit that you have probably to like $500. But Navy Federal, if you put $200 down on this in about six months, this one is actually going to go to $2,000. So I like that. And they give you $200 back and they can keep increasing your limit after that because these are nice companies, you know. Also, Discover is secure. Um, I seen somebody put, put that they had the Discover is secure card and theirs increased to $2,100. So definitely, um, so I suggest you get these three when you're building your credit. Now, if you get these three, I do suggest that you get one more credit card. Actually, let's scroll down and see which other one you can get. The open sky is only if you can't get no credit card at all, but it's a great card, but only if you can't get anything at all. So the next one I'm going to tell you about, check the annual fee. If the annual fee is more than $49, then leave it where it's at, okay? They probably say, oh, we can get you a credit card, but your annual fee is very high. Say, that's okay. I'll come back to y'all next month. Wait till your new account hit. Your credit score should go up. Then you'll come back and try these again. And if you don't have your... If you don't have your four credit cards at least, make sure you all keep applying every month. And if Discover don't give you one right away and you end up getting a Capital One and a Navy Federal, try that Discover again the next month, okay? You could try it again. But I want you to try to get these four credit cards as soon as possible because you need to have positive history. Again, more than $49 in your fee, leave them alone. But you got the Credit One Bank because you need just one more card technically. You have Mission Lane. You have the Prosper Credit Card. You have the Milestone. You have the Indigo. You have the Destiny. And those are the ones I want you to check out. Now, check the annual fees. These got very high annual fees. Leave these where they at. Don't think about getting them, okay? Just they're going to have to stay where they're, they're at. Don't, don't get them at all. They're not doing... The annual fee too high, you need to not get it because what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself into debt, and I don't want you to do that. Now, if you for some reason can't get the Capital One, the Discover, the Navy Federal, maybe you just filed bankruptcy and nobody likes that, then I want you to get the Open Sky credit card. That's a guaranteed approval almost. They just need to verify your identity. So you can get this one. I think the minimum you can put down is $300. I got the open sky before when I need to build my credit. So it definitely can help you build your credit and get you where you need to um, go. So get that one. Also, get the kickoff installment account. That's the one where you're paying $10 per month for 12 months. Just the installment account. Don't get the one where... It's like a revolving credit where they say, we're going to give you this amount of, you're going to have this amount available. Don't get that at all. Just get the installment account. Everybody can get that one, okay? This can help you build your credit because it's another company reporting. So everybody get that kickoff no matter what. And if you can't get any credit cards, again, you got the Open Sky, the Credit Builder card will allow you to get two credit cards without a hard inquiry. So definitely try to get that Credit Builder card because that can help you out a lot. And then self, remember I told you that kickoff is the $10 um, per month for 12 months. This self is very, very um, similar where they have plans just like that. You could pay the $35 per month, but instead of for one year, you're going to do it for two years. And if you cannot get approved for a credit card during this time, you still don't have enough credit enough credit cards, then ask for their v, their self visa card. And you got to wait until you have at least $100 saved in your account. And you don't have to put additional money down. They can just transfer that money into a visa card. And I made a video about the self visa. So please check it out. But this can be a great option for you all, especially if you can't get any credit cards because they're not checking your credit. They don't care what your credit look like. They just want to probably do like a soft pool just to verify your identity. But other than that, they're going to actually get you this card. But you guys, while you're in the state, you need to start building your credit. And when you build your credit, you're going to see your credit score increase a lot. Now, remember, definitely get the free dispute letter that I do have on my website. 
And this free dispute letter can help you remove like your negative accounts that you have listed. Definitely get this. I'm not saying don't get this. Definitely get this free dispute letter and also the different dispute letter packages that I have here. Definitely get those too. But you really need to make sure that you are actually building your credit while you're repairing it. Some people like to wait until after, but to me, if you wait until after and all you have was negative accounts, they're going to start you off with $300 credit cards anyway. And I would rather you had got to $2,000 with Navy Federal on Discover and 500 with um, Capital One and Capital One can increase you again. It don't have to be 500. It could be more than that. Somebody said they went to $4,000 from their secure card over time, not just right away, but over time. So I just think it's a better investment doing it that way. But definitely start increasing your credit score with credit cards while you're disputing your accounts. And if your accounts are negative and they're not reporting accurately, so if they even got payments off or anything like that, you have a right to dispute it and remove it from your credit reports. And then schedule a call if you have any questions with me, I'll be happy to help you guys. Again, all of this is on my website, rakita.com. I hope to see you guys in another video. If you guys have any questions, schedule a call with me or put them down below in the comments. Have a great day or a great night whenever you're watching.